I can't say the F. No freaking way, man! Holy heck, man! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! Robert, you're <coughs> killing me! <coughs> uh, I have the flu. Comic Con, everybody, everyone's favorite convention. Smile, cause you'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it, this flu. Marvel fans enjoy it, though. Oh boy, do they enjoy it so much that when they announced She Hulk, they, they, they just scream to the top of their voice, yes, yes, I love it, I love it. And then the show comes out and then they start complaining. <laughs> and this happens with a bunch of other films, okay? Two years ago, they announced Phase 5 and Phase 6 of the Marvel Universe of movies slash series. And people were overjoyed in it, and oh boy, did that age badly, because uh, most of these films flopped. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen this time. What the f But nowadays, Marvel is different, or so they say they are. But their fans haven't changed. Went up there optimistic as hell, and uh, oh boy, oh boy, did they announce Avengers Doomsday. With the main villain be being uh, oh Robert God, Downey Jr. Robert! Up there on stage, and people, people just lost their fucking marbles. <laughs> I thought it was funny when I saw that. I was like, is this really a big deal? I mean, Robert Downey Jr. is a pretty good actor, okay? He, he's fucking handsome. Look at him put in those glasses. Holy fuck! But I'm not I'm not gonna lose my marbles, okay? Over over him being doomsday, okay? First of all, I'm not a Marvel fan. <gasps> you bitch! I don't see that many movies in Marvel. I'm not a big fan of the superhero genre, comic genre. I'm pretty sure there's many people out there. Hey, yo, what the fuck? But I, I just don't like Marvel, okay? I think it's, uh, it's bland. There you go. I'm gonna get cancelled because of this. But even though I might not be the biggest Marvel fan or a fan of Marvel in general, I decided, hey, why don't I just review this convention and, and basically sum it up to you in a nutshell. So if you haven't seen the convention, just see this video because it, it, it just has a man who has flu reviewing Marvel convention and probably getting shitted on in the comment section by Marvel fans. <laughs> so let's get right into it. <laughs> And so the convention started off boring. Boring, 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 and boring, okay? Now, pfft, I know I'm taking off a lot of Marvel fans. It was f boring, though. I mean, we started off with Captain America, the worst f superhero to ever exist. <laughs> I'm just asking for it at this point. Nah, but the, the cast came up on stage in Comic-Con, you know. Everyone was like, yeah, Captain America! Not, not Chris Evans. The new one! And while the crowd was cheering, you know, it's just the cringiest fucking interactions you could, you could call for. Alright, welcome everybody, good to see ya! What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Can you share anything about the sequences in this film? How are those wings and what's the secret to looking cool while flying through the air? Wow, well, I feel... <laughs> 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 that, that's kind of funny, Falcon, because it, it's a. Uh, he's from this Despacito, I think. Uh, I don't get the jokes, guys. I'm not a Marvel fan! But, uh, the, the, the thing that I did get was <laughs> a joke that Tom Holland apparently made fun of Falcon, which is that he didn't have a movie. But uh, guess who has a movie now, Tom Holland? Fuck you! I mean, uh, I'm not his uh, spokesperson, but that's what I would say to Tom Holland. But his comeback was that uh, <laughs> you're not 5'11. Well, he said, I didn't have a movie. I said, well, you're not 5'11". Which gotta be one of the wickedest ass comebacks I've ever heard. Think of something more creative, Falcon. At least you can't fly, Spider-Man. I would have said that. At least I talk without stuttering. That would have been better. <laughs> the weakest comebacks I have ever heard in Comic-Con convention. But as we skip through a little bit of Comic-Con convention, we see Thunderbolts. Holy shit, they changed their look. <laughs> they changed their logo compared to two years ago. Whoa. But in a nutshell, Thunderbolts is basically cast having fun, joking around. Actually, the first cast that I see that at least has some more chemistry. I even laughed at one of their little jokes. And, and I don't like laughing at Marvel jokes. Well, there you go. Thunderbolts, I mean, other than its logo switch, I think might be a pretty good movie. But it's a superhero movie, so it must be trash. But let's skip along a little bit. Because there's yet another film that changed logos. <laughs> Fantastic Four. And I was like, oh, Fantastic Four? That, that's kind of sick. I, I would like to watch. I don't I don't know. Never mind. I, I don't want to watch it. But <laughs> I, I lost my mind when they said this. One year from today, exactly one year from this weekend, 
we are releasing the first Marvel's first family into the MCU, the Fantastic Four. We have not, we have not even started filming this yet. It starts filming Tuesday in the UK. What the fuck? You haven't even started filming? I, you, you should start filming already. Oh fuck! The, the, the CGI guy is melting his brain right now. Fuck! I need to get this shit done in less than a year, or else Mickey Mouse is gonna fucking whip my ass. But uh, who cares about the Thunderbolts and the Fantastic Four? Nobody gives a. Fuck. Everyone came here for Avengers! Oh yeah, assemble! Oh my god, everyone went ecstatic when they announced Avengers 5 and 6, Secret Wars, and Doomsday! Whoa! <laughs> but the thing that made people go insane was when a guy, or should I say multiple guys, went up on stage with, I'm gonna say it, don't get angry at me, Party City $1 store fucking looking ass Doomsday outfit. The fuck was this? Did this look... Oh, I'm not gonna offend anymore, I've already offended too many fans, I've already offended too many fans, and I need subscribers. But basically, everyone's like saying, oh, look at look at these Doomsday goons. Oh, my God. And then they say, well, we brought the best actor to play Doomsday. And then it came out and then took his mask off and, whoa, got the whole crowd pumping. They started cheering, man. Once they saw RBJ, as I like to call him, or RBJ, as I like to call him even more affectionately, came out. Everyone just started losing their shit, all right? But you know what made me lose it when he said, same mask, same tap. Oh, Robert! Oh my god, Robert! You almost cured the flu out of me! God damn, that, that was a powerful word! Word? What the fuck am I saying? Look, Robert's taking the words out of my mouth! <laughs> but yes, everyone lost their mind. Guess what? RBJ's playing Doomsday. I have a theory that the moment that Iron Man died in, in Endgame, he reincarnated as Doctor Doom. That's my theory. I, I want to hear your Marvel theory, because I don't know shit. But yes, that, that was a Marvel convention. It had some cringy moments. They had a fun moment. RBJ's up there, or as I like to call him, RBJ. But yeah, that, that's gonna be it for me, alright? So, uh, I'm, I'm tired. I have a flu. I mean, I mean, my flu's already almost gone anyways. RBJ already took it away. But uh, you, you know, Marvel fans, so don't get too angry at me. I'm also a fan of RBJ and Avengers Doom Bobble I said that right, right? <laughs>